The United Nations is re reportedly uh, wants Americans, that's us, to eat a lot less meat, all in the name of climate change. Grady Trimble is in Virginia for us today. Now, what's this all about, Grady? Uh, Stu, there's a report that the U.N.'s Food and Agriculture Organization is going to release a roadmap next week at COP28, and one of their recommendations is that folks in the U.S. and other Western countries need to uh, eat less meat in order to help stop climate change. So we decided we would get farmers and ranchers' reaction to that. I'm with Mary Thomas Hart. She's with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. As we said, this is just a report from Bloomberg right Right now, a rumor, as you call it, but if they are going to issue this guidance next week that we all need to eat less meat here in the U.S., what's your reaction? I think you, you know, make an excellent point. I want to reiterate that it's just a rumor. The U.N.'s climate conference begins tomorrow, um, and we expect that report from FAO next week. But I think it's important to note that if you're a meat consumer in the United States or, or eating food in the United States, you shouldn't be worried about your meat consumption. Cattle producers in the United States have worked really hard over the last five decades to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. And since 1960, we've reduced our greenhouse gas emissions per pound of beef by about 40 percent. How much does the cattle industry actually uh, emit in terms of greenhouse gas emissions? Only 2 percent of the United States total greenhouse gas emissions from, come from cattle production. So, you know, even if at the most extreme U.S. consumers went fully vegan, we would only see about a 2 percent reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. And, you know, I think it's important to consider the trade-offs, right? We're standing on a ranch um, where more than beef is produced, right? This ranch is a natural water filter. It creates wildlife habitat and it sequesters carbon. Um, if you lose beef production in the United States, if you reduce beef consumption, then you're going to lose those valuable ecosystem services as well. And Stu, Mary Thomas will actually be at COP28 next week advocating on behalf of farmers and ranchers and apparently on behalf of meat lovers all across this great nation as well. Stu? Let's cheer her on. Grady, thank you very much indeed.